Now, in terms of where COVID cases sit today, a three-day lull ended yesterday with the Bahamas recording one new case, a 29-year-old woman who's isolating at home. Officials have determined that the RT-PCR test is the only one that will be used to confirm the negative or positive status of a COVID-19 patient. This then means that rapid tests are not approved or acceptable test results. When asked, a special advisor on COVID-19, Dr. Mersalyn Dow Regis admitted rapid tests were used on some healthcare workers. There were false positives and false negatives, and this has impacted the spread of infection among healthcare workers, yes. Time adjustments to COVID-19 dashboard to reflect what the health minister calls a clearer and more accurate picture of the data collected locally. Added is the number of RT-PCR tests completed, the total active cases, and the number of patients in hospital. This will give policymakers and the general public an idea of how seriously affected some COVID-19 patients are. Such information is essential in determining where staff, resources, and equipment should be allocated. The dashboard will also show how cases are distributed across our family of islands. The dashboard will no longer report the number of persons in quarantine. This number constantly fluctuates and its being, and its being on the dashboard did not give the best understanding of the spread and control of COVID-19. Now, the number of people breaking quarantine still cause for serious concern. The Prime Minister on Monday announced the imposition of a fine of up to $20,000, five-year imprisonment, or both for those who do. In the meantime, the government's exploring ways to better monitor this group. The second in a series of virtual town meetings on COVID-19 takes place this evening at 8. The focus of this one, the impact of the virus on children. Panelists include Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Delon Brennan, Director of Education Dr. Marcellus Taylor, and Chair of the National Child Protection Council Dr. Novia carter Lucky. You can send your questions in to the Ministry of Health's Facebook page or 502-7382.